Moving on to one of our best sellers, the SCM120CT Mod Mid. The reason why this is such a good seller is because it's compatible with many solar PV um, scenarios. So many inverter brands, it's compatible with them, which is a, a good selling point because not many meters are or they're generally specified and hard to come by. But the Eastron SCM120CT Mod Mid is compatible with SunSync and Solis inverters. And um, for that reason, they're, they're quite common in the UK, especially SunSync is one of the leading solar PV brands. So the SCM120CT goes hand in hand with that. And the reason why you use the SCM120CT in a solar PV setup is when the inverter is situated too far away from the incoming supplier, that you can't have a CT wrapped around the incoming supplier to feed back to the inverter because the distance is too long and you can only extend the cable of the CT especially when it's five amp secondary, to five meters. Once you extend it over five meters, it starts to affect the accuracy of the CT, and no one wants a, an inaccurate device, an inaccurate instrument. So the way that this works is, say for example, you've got your inverter situated in an outbuilding, such as a gar garage, um, you could have the SCM120CT and a CT on your main incoming supply situated near the board, and then you can run the Modbus cable, because this has got Modbus, SCM120CT Mod Miss, so Modbus RS485. You can run the Modbus cable from the meter to 1200 meters, so 1200 meters, which is obviously quite a long distance. And that allows you to extend the connection from the inverter to the, the main incoming supplier. And then this meter will just tell the inverter the kilowatts and it'll tell, you know, and it'll allow the inverter to manage the energy of what's coming in from the solar panels. So I just touched a little bit more on the meter. It's essentially the same as the Pulse version, but it's got Modbus, so that's the difference. It gives you all the same parameters, same size. Again, can go up to 600 amp with a CT, so not always used for solar PV. Mainly when it's used with solar PV, it's used with a 100 to 5 amp CT, because most of the time in a house you're not pulling more than 100 amps, a lot of the time it's rated at 83 amps. So yeah, 100 to 5 amp CT often used with this with the solar side of things. But if you're not using it for solar, if you're using it for something else, um, a different single phase supplier where you're going to be pulling up to 600 amps, that is this meter is capable of doing so. We also have an MBUS version of the meter in the case that you're using a data logger or gateway with utility meters going back to it as well for remote monitoring. This kind of meter is also used in residential EV charging scenarios. It can be used with DLB, so dynamic load balancing, where you want to monitor the incoming supply and then you also want to monitor what the charger's pulling. So you don't want the charger to think that it's got 83 amps available when really you've got your lights turned on, you've got your washing machine going. So then if you you know if the charger was to pull you know, as much as much as it wanted, as much current as it wanted, it could trip out the rest of your house. So you have your clothes half washed or half dried, etc. So this meter can help with dynamic load balancing or just general monitoring as well. So all of the SM120 series in the box come with a manual um, and two terminal covers once you've wired up the terminals as part of the MID approval. We also offer bundles for all the other CT operated versions of the meter as well. So you can find on our website, we've got the SCM120 CT Mod Mid and the CT paired together as a bundle at a discounted rate in comparison to buying them separately. All the SCM120 CTs are single module DIN rail mounted. And um, yeah, the wiring on this one, I won't go over the wiring, but when you are installing the meters, try to refer to the lasered wiring on the side of the meters if possible. If you're unsure on the wiring or if for some reason it doesn't have this laser on the side, just get in touch with us either on 01268 773 422 or inquiry at smartprocess.co.uk and we'll send you over the correct wiring diagram for the relevant version that you've got. Thank you very much for watching. appreciate your time if you made it this far. If you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment or get in touch on um, email or, or on the phone. Please like and subscribe for more content like this and uh, stay tuned to the channel. Thank you.